Hi everyone. Um, in the year preceding the beginning of COVID-19, um, I had a confluence of three events in my life that caused me a lot of depression. Uh, first, I had an old classmate of mine that I had known since kindergarten. He had passed away. He had overdosed on drugs. I think he had injured himself playing basketball at one point and used some painkillers and never quite got off of them. And he struggled with painkillers on and off for many years because I saw him when he had recovered, but then he had obviously relapsed. And I saw him a couple of times in between his relapses. And um, he passed away early 2019. And I was seriously depressed over that. You gotta understand, I, I love playing sports myself. I especially love to go on long distance walks. And at the time, I used to drive a lot. I used to drive close to 20 to 30,000 miles a year because I was living out of my car and having to move my car frequently. And I also didn't like to fly very much. So I would often drive from Seattle to uh, out here to the Rockies where I'm living right now, or even back home to my family in the East Coast. It's about a four or five day drive, depending on the situation. Sometimes I find somebody online uh, who, who would ride share, and, and so we can split the driving, but still it's a number of days. And I was putting 20,000 miles on my car every year, and it, I, I knew sooner or later something was gonna happen. But, um, so I got seriously depressed over the fact that we're all just, especially if, if you have a, addictive personality like I did. We're all just one car accident, one basketball mishap, one slip and fall, maybe even one fight away from a downward spiral that ends in death, right? And I have an addictive personality. You gotta understand, um, I've, I've battled other addictions, nothing that could have directly ended my life, but things that had major social implications, let's put it that way. Um, I've, I've, had, I've lost jobs over addictions. I've um, lost friends over addictions. Uh, see, the problem is the addiction that I had didn't cause me too many health problems or physical health problems, which is why I, I, uh, it made it so easy to practice the addiction. Uh, but I have an addictive personality. And so it made me realize just how fragile I was. And I guess that's good. Maybe it helped me address some of my addiction pers uh, problems. Okay, but that was the first event. Uh, not long after my old classmate had passed away, uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine, obviously, she was quite a few years my senior, she was going through menopause. Come to think of it, she's the only person who has ever openly talked to me about menopause. Even my mother didn't really talk to me much about it. And um, I was saddened by that. Uh, it, it, it made me realize just how fast life is going by. I, I'm seeing all my everybody around me going through major pivotal moments in their life. And um, it actually... It's kind of funny because I, I got to admit that I, I used to be so focused on my studies in computer science, I never really learned about menopause until until my ex-girlfriend was talking to me about it, which made it all the more sad. You know, the first time I learn about it, it's, it's with somebody in my life. And it made me realize just how fast life was spinning, right? It had been eight years since I had dated this girl. And uh, when I think about events in the past eight years in my life, there weren't that many. Uh, and yet, eight years, that's about a tenth of our lifespan has just whizzed by, and it just made me really sad. Well, not long after I was talking to my ex-girlfriend about menopause, um, I had met another girl, and um, I was getting ready to propose to her. Uh, I had met... Uh, this girl, uh, uh, early 2019, uh, late 2018, early 2019, and I was thinking about proposing to her on December 21st, 2020, because Jupiter and Saturn w would come into conjunction. I had a favorite place to view that, and I was going to take her there and propose to her. I had it all mapped out. But uh, as I planned that out, I got seriously depressed because I realized my, my time as a single guy 
was coming to an end. And I remember getting out a calendar to, to count how many days before if it, of my single life I had left. It, it was only in the 400s, if I remember correctly, at the time I did this. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I had to do a recount of how many days there were. I did a recount, just like Al Gore, and it was 400-something. And uh, I, uh, I got seriously depressed. And it's a silver lining, though. I mean, yeah, I, I, I got so depressed that I, uh, I was out of it. I, I wasn't eating right. I wasn't sleeping right. But at the same time, I became very soft-spoken around everybody, right? I used to get into heated, uh, uh, I need to, I, this is one of the New Year's resolutions I need to get over, but I get very anxious when I talk on the phone or, or in person or uh, to the point that I interrupt people. Uh, when I'm talking to somebody and the person that I'm talking to has already strayed past irrelevant right in my head right let's say I'm talking to uh, let's say I'm talking to my mom and I need to ask her for some advice on something and she strays away from what's relevant to the current situation I have a tendency to interrupt lately I've been doing better with that though lately I've been what I find very helpful is to get a, a, a worry pad of some sort and jot down just what I want to come back to. And then I'll let the other person ramble on the... Uh, and um, may, maybe sometimes when they ramble, I get something out of it. Right? I, I learned this the hard way, actually. I was talking to my boss, and this was during the pandemic now that we're talking about, and there was some bad news at work. And... Uh, Obviously, uh, we, we lost some hours and our pay got cut, but I interrupted him, trying to, to boast about what I've been doing over the last year to hone my skills. I really should have let him finish rambling about how much our pay got cut, or because he might have made a concession at the end, but I cut him off, and I, I, I'm still kicking myself over that. And But uh, when I was really depressed uh, last year, two years ago, I, I had a tendency not to do that because I was so depressed I didn't even want to talk. And so uh, I need to go back to those ways. It was a silver lining. Anyway, so I got really depressed over three events. My, my classmate passing away, an ex-girlfriend going through menopause, and, and then my at the time my current girlfriend of uh, were getting serious. I got really, really depressed over all of that. But then COVID-19 came along, and it it, 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 it it put aside all of those things, right? And during the pandemic, I got a chance to address some of my addiction problems, especially my eating disorder, um, and also uh, some of my other addictions. Uh, my addiction to insomnia, my addiction to writing computer games. Uh, I used to be addicted to masturbating. I still write computer games. I still masturbate, but I do it in a much more controlled fashion, right? I'm not going to be sitting in the office wanting to masturbate, right? Or, or sometimes in the coffee shop and then, and then sneaking out to the bathroom to masturbate. I used to do that a lot, believe it or not. Nowadays, I, I only masturbate in my own bed. And it's much more controlled, right? Uh, similarly with the computer games, nowadays I find myself going to events without lugging the computer everywhere. And I find I'm a lot happier that way. And I'm still doing both of those activities nearly as much as I did before, but in a much more controlled fashion. That's what I want to say. And so now that I've had more control over my former addictions, I'm not so afraid of painkillers anymore. I won't use them recreationally, obviously, but if the situation warrants it, right? Uh, or if I'm just totally out of it after a car accident and somebody gives them to me, yeah, I can handle it. I used to think that I need to put in my medical directive. Don't give me painkillers under any circumstances. Uh, lately, I've been foregoing the idea of doing that because uh, I, I think uh, if I can handle food addiction and other sorts of addictions, I think painkillers are just another one of those, right? And uh, actually, as a kid, I, I took uh, Ritalin, and I didn't get addicted to that either, come to think of it. Um, Okay, what else? Uh, my girlfriend going through uh, at menopause. Uh, lately, I've been accepting that uh, other chapters will come in my life and they'll be happy times, especially ever since COVID-19. See, when COVID-19 first hit, I, I, I didn't think I could be happy in quarantine, right? I, 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 and I, this was probably the happiest chapter in my life. And so when I go through another chapter, whatever it happens to be, whether I develop something... Uh, 
or I age in some way, or I, 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 I eventually when I retire, I'll, I'll take those chapters in stride. Now, now that I've seen what it's like to turn a chapter, and so I'm really trying to enjoy every moment that I'm single because it will end one day, right? Either with my life or with uh, meeting the right person, right? Anyways, um, I, I sorry, I got cut off. I learned from this whole COVID-19 situation that uh, life is just full of hellos and goodbyes and um, uh, every goodbye is usually accompanied by a hello of some sort and uh, usually it's going to be better because you have the experiences from your previous chapters in your life and uh, I'm not so worried anymore. I, I can't believe I wasted a year of my life of worrying about those three events. Uh, but they were very depressing. I, I'm so glad that I that I got interrupted from from those uh, situations. I mean, not that COVID-19 was a good event or anything, but it, it it diverted me from from where I was. I was in a downward tailspin. You know, had it, had it gone on that way for for uh, a few more months, you know, who knows what it could have been. But you know what? Had COVID-19 not happened, I'm sure some other way of diverting me would have happened anyhow. I'm optimistic. So, anyways. Uh, enjoy it for what it is. Turn the chapter if you need to. Thanks for watching.